What if you could outrun light itself, cross galaxies in seconds, travel to alien worlds before the sun sets? Sounds like science fiction. But there's a reason faster than light travel stays that way. Because it's not just fast, it's impossible. And worse, it breaks the universe. The universe has a speed limit, 299,792 kilometers per second, the speed of light. That's about 7.5 times around the Earth in a single second. Light isn't just the fastest thing we know. It is the foundation of time and space itself. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, the faster you move, the slower time flows. But no matter how much energy you pump in, you can't quite reach light speed. The closer you get, the more massive you become. And reaching light speed would require infinite energy. But let's imagine somehow you do it. A warp drive, a wormhole, a cosmic loophole. You're now moving faster than light. But here's the problem. In some frames of reference, you just arrived at your destination before you left. Not metaphorically, not hypothetically, literally, backward time travel. And once time runs backward, causality collapses. Effect comes before cause. A message is received before it's sent. You step through a door before it even opens. You could destroy your own past, erase yourself before you ever existed, create a loop that feeds into itself forever. Physicists call it a paradox. The universe, it doesn't like paradoxes. So if faster than light travel is possible, something else must break. And that something might be reality itself. Imagine this. You send a message faster than light and it arrives before you sent it. That message could warn your past self not to send the message. So you never send it. So the message should never arrive in the first place, meaning you will never be warned so end up still sending the message. You've just broken cause and effect. This is called a causality violation, a paradox that nature doesn't seem to allow. However, there could be hope. Physicists have imagined particles called tachyons, theoretical beings that always move faster than light. But if they exist, they're always traveling backward in time. We've never seen them because if they exist, they'd violate causality. A message could arrive before it's sent. An effect could happen before it's cause. And tachyons are just the beginning. Wormholes might be the shortcut we need. A tunnel through space-time. A bridge between stars. The equations say it's possible, but only under impossible conditions. Negative mass, exotic matter, things we don't understand and may never control. Try to force it open and it collapses because the universe protects its boundaries. The moment we try to go faster than light, physics slams the door shut because light isn't just fast. It's the boundary between what's real and what's forbidden. The speed that destroys time itself. Light doesn't just illuminate space. It anchors time. It defines what can cause what who can influence whom, and in what order. The speed of light is woven into the very laws of the universe. Break that limit, and you tear the rules apart. Some limits exist for a reason. They don't just protect the laws of physics, they protect reality itself. What you've seen is only the beginning. The universe is darker, stranger, and more dangerous than you think. Follow to keep going, deeper.